Hi Arya, it's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we came to Iron Forge and we spoke with Clock Mort Spannerspan, and he gave us some quests, along with his friends, for Nomaragan. And as you can see, we have a group full of shamans for this dungeon. And we are currently in the TBC pre-patch now, guys. So, this is going to be interesting. See how this goes. What's on your mind? I'm gonna make Iron Forge our home, so we can get back here. But yeah, we're in TBC now. There's a lot of people leveling shamans. Got some drain eyes up in here. A lot of drain eyes. So we'll get to see a lot of shaman action today. And yeah, we're gonna go do Nomaragan. Should be good. And we also got our talents reset, which makes me think I should have just waited. For TBC to come out for us to reset our talents but I guess we'll uh, fill those up now we're gonna do the same thing pretty much improved aspect of the Hawk we got focused fire I think we'll rank that up to two I think this might have been a new one all damage caused by use increased by 1% while your pet is active and the critical strike chance of your kill command abilities increased by 10% kill command we might have some new abilities that we might have to pick up. Probably get a increased speed bonus of your aspect of the cheetah. We'll probably get this. Probably get all of these. Yeah, we'll get this. And then we'll fill up Unleash Fury. To make sure I'm in the right spot. I'm trying to buy some bullets. The there we go. Let's get some land. solid shots. It should be enough shots. And then we'll make our way to Nomaragan. So there we go. We got Unleash Fury. And then I guess we'll get. Uh, should we get Improved Men Pet? I think we kind of skipped that last time. Yeah, I'll go with Ferocity. Yeah, we'll go with Ferocity. Let's we'll keep filling up ferocity, and that's it. There we go. It's pretty much the same thing, I would say. So, there we go. Got our pathfinding. And we got everything back. So, they're, it's pretty much the same build that I'm going to use. And then probably when I hit level 60 or 70, maybe I'll change it. So, let's head out, and we will... Uh, Go do some Nomaragon with these shamans. I'm interested to see uh, how this goes. I feel like I'm playing Horde right now. It's kind of funny. And uh, supposedly XP has gone up for dungeon quests. So all these dungeon quests are going to gain me more XP. So it's kind of good that I waited. And um, the, the required XP per level is decreased by, decreased by 15% across the board from levels uh, 20 to 60. So, that should be pretty good. It's going to be a lot easier. Supposedly, a fleet quest got nerfed. So, um... We'll see how that goes. Because I remember them on my uh, my druid, and they were tough. Elites were really tough, so... Supposedly, elites are, are nerfed a bit and should be soloable, so... Maybe we'll give those a try. But yeah, leveling has, has gotten a lot easier. It's not the same. I'm going to miss classic leveling, guys. It's probably the... It's not hard. But, uh... Let's always say it's the hardest form of leveling in WoW. That WoW's ever had. And I guess over time it just got easier and easier. How do I get over here? Do I have to, like, go through here? This guy's going the right way. Alessa got to get over to the summoning stone. Did you know you can get a mount now? No. At 30? It's like this guy's like watching me pull, play play. <laughs> Thanks. At least for the help, dude. Fuck, they 
That's awesome. That's awesome. I didn't know you can get a mount. They are nine gold, I think. Are you serious? So cheap. <laughs> See how much easier it is? <laughs> Speaking of how much easier it's got, you don't even really have to grind for gold that much. We can already get our mount, supposedly, according to uh, Theodora. And we forgot to sell this stuff, but whatever. I'll just get rid of... I don't think our bags will fill up that much. Not sure how much riding is, though. They swap the costs a bit. Yeah, it shouldn't be too much. Should be nerfed, I would assume. Well, that's cool. We got a rogue named Theodora. 60 rogue and cake. It's cool. Helping us out. Well, thanks for the help, Theodora. We'll try to get our mount soon. I'll look into that. I don't know if we'll get it today. This is going to be clearly a, a long episode. We'll probably be over an hour. That is my guess. The last dungeon we did was like an hour and almost two hours. But it, they're good. They're fun. And the thing is, now dungeon uh, XP has gone up, supposedly. Supposedly the quests have uh, the experience from quests have gone up a decent amount. So it's going to, it's clearly worth it to join groups. I think they swapped the cost where the riding is where you pay the most. So that you can buy more amounts. It makes sense. That makes sense. Probably still 40 gold total. I assume. Okay, so here we go. We're at Nomar. Got a bunch of leper gnomes out here. Okay, so let's keep going, guys. We can start summons now. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. We go you only need two to summon. <laughs> I man, I, I it's crazy, man. They made it so. This is the beginning of the end, guys. T people say wrath was the beginning of the end. Well, they're not the end. Yeah, thanks. People say yeah. People say wrath was the beginning of the end. Like it, when they started making it really easy, and it's true because like, you you could pretty much. You know, just teleport to dungeons. You just queue up and you just, like, get instanced in. But TBC was, like, the begin like the slow progression of making things uh, just a little bit more convenient for players. Ganic, you're too high to summon Rip. Oh, no. Hope he yeah. I hope he's not too high to do this dungeon. You know how long it took me to get this guy? This tank, he's a beast. Serve the 35. I hope he's not too high, because then I'll have to... I'll have to cancel the episode. I, I wanted to cancel the episode. It's just this episode's going to get way longer. I'm going to be sitting in town yeah. trying to find a tank. So I hope he stays. The thing is, he was flying up here. You might not see us, like you might not have the map. Should I go get him? Maybe he's like just selling some stuff. It's my guess. Did we get layered? <laughs> yeah, layering's coming back. That's another thing. Layering is most likely coming back. And that causes some issues, too. Because he could just be on another layer, so we can't summon him. But he's coming. But I haven't smoke. Yeah, maybe he needs to have a smoke. Before he starts, <laughs> it's okay. Oh my gosh, we had level 32, guys, just by entering Nomaragon. Well, let's get that uh, ranked up ferocity five out of five. 
Not bad. Now you guys said I'm too high to summon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's troll. Okay, so here we go. Looks like he's on his way, which is cool. I think TBC, like, even though it's, like, got, got more convenient... I think TBC is like the is the is the nice balance of convenience, and then it went overboard in uh, in wrath, I would say. Because I like having to travel to the dungeon. I think that it's just better, you know. Because we we're playing an MMO, right? So you need people to want to travel the world, right? But the way they brought that back, though, is through. Uh, Mythic Plus dungeons, you have to actually travel to the dungeon now, which is good to do Mythic Plus. So they're kind of bringing, bringing it back slowly. I think retail will get better again. I have faith. <laughs> it's been doing okay. It's retail, just not, retail is actually not bad at all. It's, it's a decent game. It's just some of the, the extra like leveling systems that they add, the systems that they add in the game sometimes are kind of kind of fail. But they're experimenting with new content, and that's pretty much what you got to do if you want to uh So yeah, I can't see him. So clearly he is uh there he is. He was right there. So we got a human warrior. Nice. This guy's uh, going to be a future main tank. And let's get inside Nomer. That's level 25. Should I call him my pet? Looks like we can just run right by that guy. Get on, get on. Get on, man. This is cool. I've never actually, like, came to Nomer before, so... It's a first for me. Look at these, look at these totems. Yeah. Here we go, we're fighting through Nomer here. This must be like all gray for him. I hope he's like not too high for the dungeon. Look at all the trogs. Trogs are taking over. He's saying it's back here. You guys need a punch card? I'll sh I'm gonna share my quests actually. First time in here. Where do you get the punch card? See, I'm such a noob when it comes to these alliance dungeons. <laughs> I've never done no more once in classic, so I'm happy I'm doing it here. I didn't do a lot of the old ones yeah. from these gnomes. Once we get a white card, punch it in here. share these quests again.
Is that it? There we go, we did the Techmon quest. That was easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder if I can share it when it's complete. Let's keep sharing all of them. The warrior doesn't get bored. Totally, it keeps on saying like people are too far away to receive the quest. These guys got out of a card. We haven't got in yet. This guy has it? Oh, we can sell junk to this guy. That is big. I'm gonna get rid of this rough stone. And this shield. We just need the memory core. It's Lunaris bow. It's soul bound. We're not gonna use it. Just get rid of it. It's good that we're getting rid of some stuff. But, uh, yeah, did he get the tech bot, or...? See if I got a card down here. No. It's crazy how we kill all these gnomes and not one has a card. <laughs> this guy's <is> silly. <laughs> it's important to get white cards so that you can punch them in the dungeon as well. I just don't want the warrior to leave. If the warrior leaves, it really sucks. Warriors down to like be cool and finish these quests. Might have actually needed it. Like, sure. I'm gonna 
say it's sure this one. Now right, we're going in. It's okay. We'll get the we'll get the the card after. I just didn't want to like waste this warrior's times. So clearly. We're gonna get a lot of buffs too from these totems. Alright, here we go. We're in Nomer, guys. They didn't want that warrior to get bored and be like, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Let's not do this. <laughs> so, we got a couple of quests we clearly have to do. Data rescue, we're going to have to do later. I think we could do it with the shamans. There we go. We got these guts. So, that's for potential artifacts. And the Grand Betrayer is just the last quest. This guy's pulling like a champ. I don't even think he gets XP from this. <laughs> what a champ. Shizumbo. this warrior it's cool having all these shamans so we're getting a lot of buffs getting the strength of earth getting mana spring totem all the totems let's see um Running up here, kind of running out of mana. I think that. I think we're all right, though. And um, let's see where we're going. I really don't even know how to pull this dungeon. All I know is we need to jump down. I've jumped down before, but I never went this way. So clearly, we have to go here. Hi, you're a tall one. With your help, I can eva evaluate these tunnels. I guess I'll try to uh, share these quests. Go to Alessa here. I wonder where Thoughtless went. Should probably be drinking while this guy moves around. Let's see, we got some uh, melon juice here. Yeah, we're getting a lot of buffs. I wonder if Thanicus is like, is Thanicus is Thoughtless here? Yeah. Okay, Trog attack.
It looks like he's getting the card. I'd, I'd be down to get the card. Just I didn't want the warrior to be like, oh, this... This is taking too long. I'm out of here. So the tanks can be a little bit, you know, pushy. They like to push the pace, you know. I've been a tank for a while, and I don't know how much time this guy has. I don't mind missing, like, one quest if it means that we're going to do the dungeon. Right? Better than my boots? Wow, well, way better. Got a new boot upgrade. trying to share these quests, I guess. thing is, I might not be able to do a lot of these, but I don't know how to do no gain. No gain is use the empty lead-in collection file on radiated invaders. Or I use the file yet? Where's the file? Oh, there's Grubbus. Decent back piece. So where's this file that we need to do? Empty latent file. Looks like it's all out of range. So I have to fill this up with, uh... Do they leave? I guess they left. Oops. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> Get the file here. Put it here for now. Seems like it's out of range. Looks like I can only use it on gnome, like leper gnomes. Should probably uh, get all of these. Um... We have tech bots praying, which is good. Looks like they're all outside. There's a real irradiated pillager. Because I'm out of range, which is kind of weird. Oh, with this guy. Got a mutton shop from him. That's really good. Alright, so I gotta get outside and I gotta get a... Gotta stop loafed in here. Gotta get a punch card. Supposedly I use this on uh, radiated pillagers and uh, radiated invaders. 
Getting a lot of XP, though. I already got two bars. Doesn't seem to work, though. There we go. Is that it? Keep out of reach of children. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we did that. So we got no game done. Now we need a... Uh, Got to see if we, um... we can do this here. So I'll put my dog on aggressive. Got to get this card. Hopefully, it'll take 20 years. Might take a while, though. We're I, I don't mind doing this. I just don't want the warrior to leave. I know I've said this like a hundred times. But he seems like a pretty chill guy. But once he says, like, let's go, it is what it is. <laughs> I wonder what the drop rate is on this card. It seems pretty rough. Got some bread. Sell that bread. <laughs> well, we got a lot of junk on us now. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that bread. Be seeing you. Hi, you're a tall one. Get rid of that. Alrighty then. <laughs> Can't believe Thalus doesn't have the card yet. I got the card. Okay, where do you punch the card? Is that that? Punch it over here. Welcome to Matrix Punchograph 3005. Stroke a security level alpha terminal. White punch card detected access granted. Punch algorithm. White security card insertion. A successful dispensing security level beta unit. Okay, so there we go. Is that it? I have to punch it here too? Or is that the same? Uh, it seems like it's the same. So now we have the yellow punch card. Okay. Interesting. So looks like we all have it. And we're uh, going to go back now. now. That's good. We got it. Finally. It was good. Patience is a virtue, guys. It's good to wait. Lucky we had a patient warrior with us. I think we're going to smash through this dungeon. Because we got to, uh, got a lot of. Am I going the right way? It's this way, right? Yeah. But yeah, I think we'll smash through this dungeon. We got a pretty good group. Looks like I'm going the wrong way. 
we got a group, another group here. Okay, run by this one. She should probably help him. He helped us. There we go. Look at all these shamans. I wish I had, I wish I had a, you know, posture. Like a drain eye. They really know how to stand up straight, you know? Probably sit very straight, too. I'm always leaning, man. So here we go. Finally in the dungeon again. <laughs> it's been... Uh, took us a solid 37 minutes. Just to, uh, to get her going. But we're in now. We completed some quests, so that's some progress. So really all we have to do now is collect these robo-mechanical guts. We need uh, essential artificials. You'll find them near deeper areas of our city. Okay, so they're in containers called artificial extrapolators. So look out for those and then we gotta keep doing punch card stuff. Alright, it sounds good. Cool. Well, let's go. Let's deal with these guys. We got two quests done already. We completed no and uh, save Techbot's brain. Which is good. I wonder if people have leveled up a bit. Looks like one guy. Huh? I wonder if the warrior's getting any XP. Leather wrists. Kind of the same as the ones. They're actually the same as the ones I have. Read those. Keep collecting these uh, robots. That's. We did join this this dungeon at the right time. Everything's like just under our level. Might actually hit level 33 after doing this dungeon. Could be possible. How's our bullets looking? We're looking good on bullets. It's good that we get these big bullets too. Got a lot of ARV damage as well. These guys really like to run. I'm running out of mana. What are this grime encrusted stuffs for? I got some more quests down here. Sparkle Matic 5000. Got some holdout warriors here. This contraption stands out amongst the gnomes holding out against the madness outside the room. A small plaque on the device leads to Sparkle Matic 5200, followed by some text. Grime and residue ruining our spark lees. The Sparkle Matic 5200 puts the shine back in Shine Tastic. Insert the item you wish to clean and deposit three silver coins in the coin slot. Give the Sparkle Matic 5200 a moment for operation, and voila! Your valuables will emerge clean and shiny. Oh, okay. So this is what we do with this grime encrusted stuff. You insert the grime encrusted item to the three silver coins of Sparkle Matic 5200. The machine surges to life in a frenzied attempt to purge the grime from the unknown item. Loud, violent churning sounds beats from the heart of the machine. The metal frame, the beast creaks and groans as it lurches from side to side. All right. Quickly as it starts, the Sparkle Matic 5200 comes to an abrupt halt, a simple ding. Third from the machine, and the mouth of the machine spirals upward. Inside the Sparkle Matic 5200 is a small box wrapped in a little bow. The machine would appear to wrap the object up after eliminating the grime and encrusted status. Even if the machine didn't work, at least the item is now wrapped in a pretty box. Well, there is one way to find out if the if the clean if they clean the item or not. Alright, so it's like kind of like a daily thing. 
It's kind of cool. We can open it up. We got a copper ore from it. Not too shabby. So here's the next punch card, I guess. Okay. And there we go. We got a new punch card. Yellow security card. Insertion successful. Dispensing security, security level chi unit. Okay, so it looks like we got another card. Now we got the blue card. That's good. I'm happy we uh, got to do these quests. Now we're fighting elementals. In retail, I remember whenever you do this dungeon, you just jump down to this part. Like, I would never, like, walk down. This place can get a little interesting. For sure. Could pull extra stuff so I want you. Especially with those uh, radiated pillagers. There we go. Get some more guts. Poison does. Radiation poisoning? Corrosive ooze. So we're getting a lot of radiation poisoning here. Slowing us down. Hunters like super tough now. Because hunters are really strong in TBC, so probably doing a lot of single target damage, I'd assume. Anyone need this? Yeah, I do. Oh it got yoinked. Oh man. I wish I <laughs> this is gonna be rough. to finish them all. We didn't get to finish them all in Black Fathom Deeps. So. I wouldn't be surprised if I missed one. Why can't I shoot? It's the LOS? Like, I wasn't even behind anything. Oh, blue boots. Cloth, though. Oh, I won them. Nice. I wonder if they're better than the boots I got. Probably not. Got some nature resist, though. Got yoinked again. That's what you get for sharing quests. You gotta keep an eye out, guys. That's the game of this. You gotta keep an eye out for these, uh... Essential artifacts. I think there's one up here. Like I'm yoinking this one, guys. Can't believe I need 12 of those. It'll be tough to get all 12. Looks like we need to feed Gur too. Probably not doing a lot of damage.
secure while he's waiting. She can't feed him until combat's done. Alright, let's feed him. Look at all of them up there, man. Should have went that way. Probably not all. Maybe it's fair if we just don't. None of us complete the quest. Yeah, look at all of them up here. You can get like honestly all twelve just going this way. happy we're in the dungeon to be honest. It takes a while to get it going. Oh, nice, get him, Gur. Had a boy. <laughs> there we go. We got three. This guy's gonna keep going. <laughs> what a dirty dwarf I am. I'm just getting them all. Nice, they're leveled up. I wonder if they respawn. Requires engineering. Looks like we can't get that card. I shouldn't even agree to that. Yeah. We're not going to use it. We won't be doing engineering, so we don't don't really need it. take a drink though. I should probably let these guys get a couple of them. So it's fair. I just don't want to fall behind. Because then I know I won't get it. But it was nice of him to uh, go down this way. Probably most of them. Good thing we got Manatai Totem, that helps out a lot. I wonder why the warrior wants to do this dungeon. He's just trying to complete it. Maybe he has a quest to do. Looks like we're not going to get that one. Oh, 
Are they just gonna let me take them all? It's good, we got Gur doing a bunch of work for us. Hopefully they spawn back. Let somebody take it. Like, all right, I'll take it. Nobody wants to take it. <laughs> okay. I just need four more. I wonder if they're just like letting me take it. Crazy because we're almost done the dungeon, I think. Once we go up there, then there's like one more row. We got 16 of 24 robo mechanical guts. Tons of quests in this dungeon. We're gonna have to turn them all in after. Oh, where's he going? Told you to attack. Oh, that's a huge. <laughs> Over oh, we drive this. There's, there's tank and one. I'm almost done with the guts here. Some healing pots too, so that's good. Pretty good tank. You can tank all this stuff easily. I thought you need to be like th over 30 to do this dungeon, but it seems like 30 is a little bit too high. Box of assorted parts. What's in here? So maybe you gotta roll for it. And I just need three more guts. And we'll be done. I'm like the only one having mana issues. <laughs> I should probably chug a mana pot. I'm gonna start chugging these. Alright, so I'll need one more and I'll be done. We're almost done with the parts too, so that's good.
I wonder if these guys have done the dungeon a couple times. Maybe they don't. That's why they don't need so many. Some of us them are on like the beginning of quests, so probably gonna have to drink after this pool too. So I can get up a little bit here. Alright, so all we need to do is just have a little drink. It's like a boss, which should probably help. <laughs> Here we go. And this is the last uh, punch card, I think, after this. There we go. We got a nice uh, finger. Stamina spirit finger. I'll, uh, I'll greet it. I could use it, but it's not the best for me. Got the workshop key. That's good. Let's put in our card here. Acquire the high-level access card. Bulu security card insertion. Successful dispensing security level delta unit. So now we have um, the red punch card. Security rating 10 to 10,000 super sensitive data. Wonder if we can chug another mana pod here. Yeah. It's good that we're using the mana pod. Pretty fun dungeon, though. Clearly in a really good group. This warrior knows it. Having a good tank and a good healer for groups really... Uh, Really goes a long way. Like, I think their last dungeon we did, we had a tank that was under level for uh, the dungeon. So that's why I think we had maybe a little bit of a rough time. We also didn't know where he was going. And now we have a tank that's over leveled for the dungeon. So it's made it a lot easier, that's for sure. We're pretty much done all this stuff. Good. Oh. Starting out with multi shot isn't the best thing. Best move. Oh, look at all that AoE, guys. A lot of AoE damage. Let's see if we can get any more. We still need two more guts. If we don't get two more guts, I'll be shocked. Prismatic punch card, and then we need to slay the last boss. So just two more guts, last boss punch card, and we're done. Then we're going to get a bunch of XP from all these quests. So I guess we'll keep on going slaying these leopard nopes. Who's this guy? Leprous Defender. Probably take a drink while these guys are just chilling. Actually, never mind. We gotta get in there. We'll be able to chug a pot soon. Kind of feel like a healer in a raid chugging mana pots. To keep the tank up. I'd probably chug mana pots if I was a caster too. I can imagine casters that dump out a lot of mana, like Boomkins and uh, Ellie Shamans in Classic. They probably chug a lot of mana pots. I wonder how mana issues are going to be in TBC. They might be uh, a little bit challenging. I don't think they'll be as bad as uh, it's classic. <laughs> Shadow Priests were another one. Yeah, they probably needed mana pots as well to keep up. So um, let's let's get some melon juice here. Hopefully these guys get to finish the quest. It would be kind of a shame if they don't. Should we drink? Do we keep drinking? No. This looks like that is a drink. Probably share the last quest here. See if everybody's got it. 
a lot of people are too far away to receive it, so like right beside me. There we go. Thoughtless is done. Got his uh, 12 artifacts. Great tank, though. I don't really even need to know what I'm doing. It's when you know you got a good tank. You can just sit back and DPS. He's doing a great job. I'm going to chug another one of these mana pots. That's going to be a good multi shot. Oh, probably going to get some aggro. <laughs> That's how it goes. Look at that AoE. Well, I don't know. Pop in the Another multi shot. Oh, gonna have a little word system going off. Okay, will we get our final rope? Mechanical guts. We only need one more and we're done. So feed Gur here. Let him get his health up a bit. I'm gonna wonder if I can drink. Think he can handle it by himself? We're kinda all out of mana. I don't want to drink too much. Get the half. There we go. Look at him. This guy's a champ. Let's see if I pull. Multi shot. I didn't pull. That's good. He had a lot of energy. What's wrong with these guys? It's too bad what happened to these gnomes got radiated. Instead of trying to heal them, what we decided to do was go in and kill them all. <laughs> this is what it is. Too bad. That's what Arthas did. Trap. I wonder if that's a dungeon. In, uh, the culling of Strata. I know there's Strat live and Strat undead. But there's another one called the Culling of Strat. I don't know if uh, if that's a dungeon in TBC. It might be. I don't think it is. It's not an Outlands. I think that's a dungeon later on. He's saying that way. Okay. Look at that. So <laughs> tons of damage. It's <laughs> getting lined up. Sucks I don't have mana though. Last mana pot. Yeah, we'll use the last mana pot. Ooh, we're pulling a lot. Who's that? Give me one hell of a multi shot. Give me one hell of a pull. Okay, I got a multi shot off. In trouble, though. Probably pull this guy into the pack. That's an insane pull we just did. I think it was like 12 plus mobs. <laughs> Gotta love shamans. Really strong class, especially when you have all the totems. Yeah, Fire Nova is OP, I agree. So much AoE. It looks like we should have a drink, I don't know why. Get some silk cloth, though. We're gonna have a lot of silk cloth, guys. When we upgrade our first aid, we have a bunch in the bank. So we should be able to get our first aid right up to 200 pretty fast. There we go. It looks like everybody got their essential artifacts. So that's good. I'm happy about that. Okay. I don't think I need to be full mana. We used all our mana pots though, so that's good. Got some bad things there.
Totems are honestly so OP in vanilla dungeons, yeah. We're just motoring through this dungeon. I know it's it's already it's been an hour, but I don't think uh, we got a grime encrusted ring. Begins a quest. A grime encrusted ring. You have uncovered what appears to be a ring from the corpse of one of the dark iron dwarfs. It's difficult to tell what kind of ring it is. However, dirt and the hardened residue cake on the item. Take the item completely, making it wearable and carrying it impossible. You think you can make out the sight luster of a precious metal and maybe even the glint of a gem under the residue. If you're going to make use of this ring, you're going to need to find something to get it hardened with the residue off of it. Figure out a way to remove the time from this ring. Okay, well, we got that. What's it called? Don't we? Don't we have this, uh, this stuff? The grime encrusted object? So we have to find a way to get Grime off this ring. Totem bump. So what do we pull? A bunch of stuff under here? We might be in trouble. Okay, well I'm gonna have a drink then if we're having a big pull. Dark Iron Age. Maybe the Dark Iron Dwarves took over. <laughs> the Dark Iron Dwarves take over this spot? Oh my gosh. I'm tanking, guys. Get him off of me, please. Get him off of me, please. Oh, good. For the squad. We died for the team. You can't get us off. Is Gurr still up? Gannicus is down. We got wiped. Because the, the totems uh, trigger these guys. The alert system. And we pulled all the stuff in here. Might not wipe though. To get this arcane nullifier down. Right. And the beautiful thing about shamans, guys, they have res. As long as one of these shamans lives, we're good. Nice heal. Beautiful heal on Alessa there. I think we're gonna do it, guys. Nice. Yeah, that's GG. Good job. Got some jade. Yeah, I was getting beat up. I think I had a healing pot on me. At least I was able to stay up a little bit longer. That was one hell of a pull. <laughs> usually those those are usually fail. It's good that we got that done. 
So I have some bread on me, so I guess we'll have some of this bread while, while we wait. I wonder if Gur died. He must have got some aggro on, uh, on something there. I think I probably had Taunt on the whole time, too, which is, is kind of silly of me. Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, I took Taunt off. Where's my pet bar? took pot the taunting off my bar. Do I have a pet bar? Oh my gosh. I'm such a noob. Where's my pet? Why did I take it off? <laughs> I just wanted to turn it off. Okay, it's not that. It's not survival either. Probably general. I don't have beast training though. Whatever, our pet's up, but now I have, like, taunt automatically on, which isn't good. Just Try to find my pet bar here. There we go, pet. Growl. Found it. Turn that off. There we go. There we go, we did it, guys. Surprise, uh... I guess, like, it doesn't really matter. The tank just could just hold aggro. So I guess my dog being, a, like, the pet being able to taunt might have helped. Do we actually need to use this? Or no? Acquire a high level data card. Nice. So we turned in the red card. Now we have the prismatic punch card. my weak healing pots on. I'm trying to use them. But I want to keep some of them because I don't have too many of the higher level ones. I'm trying to save those up, but I think in that situation there it was worth using the higher level one. Better get on here before we, we don't don't make it. See you later. <laughs> Just missed it. I literally don't know where we're going, so I'm so happy that this warrior was. Okay, so let's have a drink here. My spirit, I, I wish I had more spirit. I should just fill up to full. They got that down. They don't need me. There we go. Oh, we're getting wool cloth now. That's really good. Can use a little bit. I think our first aid's at. Yeah, we can get it up to 50. Should do that. Should be close to 50 soon. Gotta catch up to these guys who are falling behind. <laughs> oh, we got a boss here. Crowd pummeler. I don't know if he's a boss, but it looks pretty big. It sucks is my servants thing doesn't work on any of these robots, obviously. Oh, nice leather boots. Better than the ones I got. I'll need them if nobody needs them. Oh, Wisden is in. Looks like I got them. Nice. So it's two boot upgrades. Two boot upgrades, guys. Nice extra stam, a little bit of spirit. Just complaining about not having enough spirit and running out of man all the time, then Blizzard's like, here you go, man. Have some spirit. Okay. Oh, we're getting chased, dude. Oh, you dummy! <laughs> I hope the dog's okay. I 
wonder how my dog's doing. <laughs> I don't think he's doing too well. <laughs> Alright, he's going down. We're gonna res him after this. Okay. Gur, Gur didn't make it. He didn't, Gur didn't want to jump. So we gotta feed Gur. Got, got a lot of stuff coming. gonna be rough like I'm gonna have to use a well that's not that bad actually oh, not too much. Oh, we did alright a little multi shot there oh never mind look again <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with the gnomes, guys. Nice. Aug for the win. Luckily, shamans have totemic recall 30. It's good we got Aug. That run back would have been rough. That was hilarious. <laughs> there was like, I don't know, 20 plus, I don't know, 30 gnomes there? Just got destroyed. Tastes like I need to leave here soon. It's good we're almost done. And look, we have the prismatic punch card now, so. We've done that quest. Did all the, qu pretty much all the quests. We just have to do the last boss. We're done. And we'll turn all these quests in, get a ton of XP. Should be good. Got a good group. Helped us out a lot. No! Our <laughs> tank's wrecked. It's not good. I think Repair Bot comes out in uh, TBC, doesn't it? I know there's a repair bot in Classic, but I think Engineering gets a repair bot, doesn't it? Like the... that special repair bot. Kind of looks like a, like a gnome, a mecha gnome. We'll call our pet out here, he's kind of getting upset. Should we give him some meat? Put a meat here. Yeah, it's just boots. That's just boots? Yeah, it'll be okay. So if I have probably some some boots dropped. That's good we're almost done. Find some boots for him. Should probably take a drink here. Just have to go down here and we're done, I think. My mana is super low. So we'll just get half mana and we'll be good. Should be getting mana poke totem, maybe. No. Out of range. Okay, we're okay. They won't wipe. Here we go. Let's 
cool that it's good we have shamans. It's really smart bringing shamans. Shaman ever asked me to join like a group? I'm gonna invite him. I like this like all shaman group. Especially when you got like a, a tank with like with wind fury. It's good. It really helps with aggro and keeping uh keeping aggro on the tank. We got a bot coming. Take his time. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Did our dog did my dog pull all this stuff? What's my dog doing? Back. Can I heal him? No, I can't. <laughs> He'll get aggro though. I don't know why he went there. I'm telling you to attack anything. It's kind of weird. He was on defensive. And I think we'll be all right. Sped it up a bit. We sped the dungeon up. There we go. Alright, let's drink quick. We gotta feed our pet again. He's upset. Get like half mana here. There you go. Okay, let's make a move here. It's pretty much at the boss. Stay to the left. The totem helps so much too. I'd be drinking so much more. I'm still drinking a lot, but. Okay. Okay. There we go, we're inside, guys. I'll take a screenshot of this. It's kind of a cool screenshot. Here we go. Pulled a bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, this is a good pull, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that, that lava totem does work. Last boss. I wonder when we're all gonna go in. Should be full mana pretty soon. I think we'll be okay. It's kind of a tough boss. What level is he? 28 elite? It's not that bad. He's going in. I'm trying to try to take a good screenshot here, though. The numbers kind of in it, but yeah. <laughs> we're kind of not doing anything. We should probably start shooting. 
I got a bomb coming. Oh, probably have to kill that, right? Shield, nice. Wonder if he needs it. Hopefully, he needs the shield. Yeah, GG. That's it, guys. It's all done. Time to hearth back to uh, good old Iron Forge, and we'll turn these quests in. That was a good dungeon. Really good group too, even though we wiped, but we had we had some like huge pulls. So let's go turn these in. We have to go to uh Tinker Town. We'll turn these bad boys in. I think we might uh yeah, she... Yeah, we'll turn these in and then we'll uh see if we hit level 33. I think we might hit it. And then we'll have to check and see which... Want to pick your spear bomb while your pet is active. You and your pet will regenerate 1% health. That's pretty good. Intimidation. Bestial discipline. Increased focus regen. Have your pets by 50%. That's really good too. Okay. So we're almost in Tinker Town. I should be able to get my mount soon, which makes me wonder. So this guy was supposedly I could get my mount, so pathfinding might not have been a good choice. Or whatever. So let's turn these bad boys in. Save TechBot's brain. Did you find TechBot? Did you retrieve its memory core? Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you, Travel Travel. Get to work immediately. Poor, poor TechBot. Don't feel bad. We'll get you fixed. Now, where did I put that plug for my Hydro Jack Swivel Spanner? Seeing you. You have the prismatic punch card. You did. You found the prismatic punch card and recovered the lost data. Vitally, critically, immeasurably important data that we could not live another moment without. Your service to the gnomes will be long remembered. Okay, so I guess we get both. Not bad. Two writers. I like to, to think that the last thing that went through his head as he collapsed to the ground was your foot, dwarf. The thermo plug dead. Our plans to retake Nomoragon are one step closer to becoming a reality. So I guess we'll take those leather pants. Those are really nice. That's really good. That's a lot of XP. I almost got like 5k XP for that. Let's get some new leather pants. Hi, how are you? You have the essential artificials. You got them. Now I can begin my new experiment. I can't thank you enough, Trav and Trav. Your bravery has advanced Nomus research by leaps and bounds. There we go. 33 in one half. It's really good. It's a lot of XP. To meet you. Be so there we go. We did all those quests there. We still have a couple more to turn in. We have Grime Encrusted Ring. I don't know where we turn that in. I might have to figure that out. And then the Robo Mechanical Shoney and Stormwind we'll have to see. I think we'll probably... I actually want to do that soon. And then No Gain. No gain, we have to go to Karanos. Once it is full, take the Ozzy Togo Bolt. Karanos. Where's Karanos? Right here. So we have to go to Karanos. So I guess we'll go to Karanos. And then I guess we'll go to Stormwind. And then we'll turn. Might as well turn in all these quests. I don't know where we're going to turn in the Grime Encrusted Ring, though. Because we have to find a way to make use of this ring if you're going to need to find something to get hardened residue off of it. Hmm. Who knows? Got a lot of upgrades, so we got new boots, new pants. Level 33. And, uh, I think we'll take Bestial Discipline. I think that's a good choice. Increases the energy regen of our pet. Here we go. Let's go to Karanos. How are you? Actually, we can't even run to Karanos. Should we go to Stormwind? Probably faster just taking the tram. Yeah, it was my bad. I thought we could get a flight point to Karanos. 
So let's run to Karanos. And then maybe we'll turn in that later. Maybe next episode we'll turn in uh, the Gyro Drillmatic Excavationers. We should turn it in soon before it doesn't. Uh, before it gets. Before it gets. Uh, turns gray. That was a lot of XP. A bunch of XP. So we'll do this little journey. I think we'll probably go to Stormwind next episode. And we'll uh, get rid of all this junk we got. Clearly filled up our bags. And then we will... Um, maybe we'll pick up some quests in Stormwind. So we do have some quests to finish off. Crazy how we're 33 already. Usually don't get a level like that that fast. Classic. We are only level 33, so it shouldn't take too long. And I also want to check out... Um, I want to see if... Uh, if we can get... Uh, there's Ganicus. Look at him go. I guess he didn't have a Earth. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder... I wonder if we can get our mount. I don't think we have enough gold, though. So we probably won't be able to do it. We only have 21 gold, which is a lot. We got a lot of gold today. It's crazy. We got three gold from that dungeon, and we haven't even sold anything. So yeah, we probably can buy our mount. Supposedly the mount's only nine gold. It's the riding... I don't think we'll be able to get the riding skill. Or somebody leveling a warlock. It's nice to see people are still leveling the legit way. I was, I had a, an assumption that everyone was just going to uh, buy a level 58. I know a couple of my friends did. And some of them got the, that like, that big, uh, I don't know, the deluxe edition? Where you get like this like hearthstone that has like a portal behind it. They also have like this toy that to meet you. when you walk around you have like green fire under your feet. Can't you see we're trying to cure an entire species of gnomes here? We need more green glue. glow. Excellent work. The time has come to test the new formula. If this works, not only should that capture leper gnome be cured, but I should have a full head of hair. Stand back. Right. Let's see what we got here. Let me install this trio of mechanical gears and the restabulation cogs and we'll fire up this recombobulator. Well, let's see what's going on here. That should do the trick. Let's see if he heals him. That's kind of cool. Pretty close that time. Most definitely. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. What happened to him? It turned into a chicken. Well, that didn't work. Looks like he's going out of you. And he's gone. The only cure is more green glow. Not only was your sample insufficient in quantity, but it was also impure. What we require is more green glow. The trogs are obviously not irradiated sufficiently to fulfill our needs. You'll need to go into Nomaragon and bring back some radioactive fallout straight from the tap. Speaking of the irradiated slimes, slurkers, and horrors, be warned, the, contain the containment of this type of fallout is difficult. You may need to make several attempts with the file until your suitable sample is recovered. So it looks like we're not going to be doing this quest, guys. We're not going back into normal Reagan again, I don't think. We could, but... I don't know. We're not going to do it. Probably not doing it. That's okay. It's okay, we're not going back in. <laughs> we're going to move on to another another dungeon. Did enough quests anyways. It's too bad that we didn't get to complete them all, though. I'll try to find out how to do Grime and Crusty Ring, though. But yeah, you get like a level... With the Deluxe Edition, you get like a level 58. A new Hearthstone. Looks kind of cool. Toy that puts fire under your feet. And a Mount. You'll probably see the Mount around town. 
I haven't seen it yet, though. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.